Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Enjoyful Blaine playthrough on the hardest difficulty of Xenonauts 2. Time for a terror site, this time in, I think, Asia. She's already pretty crippled. We do not want to lose that. 30 pain, uh, panic level in Asia wouldn't be good. So we are immediately launching our team. And in order to do that, Let's get everybody together. I think we have a full, uh, fully equipped and fledged team. Oh no. Select the soldier. Dilly G with 50% uh, hit points. Look at the other stats, by the way. That is not bad. They are all captain rank and they are progressing quite well. So yeah, we, we'll just get the G in. Good, let's do a little check here. We've got our melee stun batons. That is good. These guys are getting more and more strength, which is fantastic as well. I haven't upgraded any of that yet. All right, Shattered Realm, fine. Really, their strength is uh, slightly improving. Which you can see, there's always a little bit of carry weight uh, left over. Zoe, for instance, has a strength of 97, which is crazy. She's just carrying so much. Good, another flashbang, just for good measure. The heavies are getting the strength, I like it. Yeah, and Dilly even has high levels of strength himself. Um, you know, we always gave him a med kit. Why not? Let's continue that. For him, it would be perfect to have that self-healing uh, med kit, but that is not available at the moment. So let's launch the mission and uh, get right into the terror. We're even getting there before nightfall, which is great. So no night mission. All right, let's jump into it. Good, we landed. Eliminate all the hostiles. And we can get a few bonus materials for these bombs that are located here. Yeah, as always, we're starting at the very bottom, which isn't too bad. Uh oh got a nasty cyber disk I'm gonna move moves up uh, let's just remove some Yep, not very good. I just want to remove that entrance there. Okay, <laughs> our cover is just gone. Interesting. Its cover is gone though. Also not bad.
Jim. Jim moves up. I still salvo. Fortunately, not very successful. Removing more cover. Yeah, the bin. That was by far the most important cover that we needed to remove. Not sure if that shot was a hit or not. Triplet. All right, Nick Nick. Another triplet. Hmm. Yeah, things are not looking that good. Lots of misses. Some hits. Yeah. I think we can all agree that was not the most successful first turn that it has ever been played in Xenonauts. Perfect timing now to put some smoke down to make it more difficult for the cyber discs to do their counterattack. Gotta hate cyber discs. 150 hit points is incredibly tanky. And apparently the enemy uh, deployment doesn't follow the same rules as an XCOM where you couldn't just like fight against 10 sector pods, so to speak. In here, there is still a variety, but it seems that these cyber discs are, yep, yeah, just considered to be normal enemies, really. Lucky for us, they seem to not have the best aim. The sector, on the other hand, does have a really strong weapon, so we need to kill him. Civilians are dying left and right. That was partially expected. Okay, yes, hit. Yep, hit, but shield was in the way and sa someone just killed this guy outright uh oh good shield is gone we have a problem
apparently no civilians are left that can fight back. Oh, there we go. We got some. One thing that I noticed uh, by playing the game is the longer you play it, the more <clears throat> bloated it becomes. So what I mean with that is, it seems they have no efficient garbage, uh, garbage collection in their safe game files. It appears that everything is just being added to the existing safe game file, which leads to longer turns and just overall more loading time a game of this graphical quality should have absolutely no excuse for kind of long loading times whatsoever uncle Nuber moves up Thank you. Finally, some of the obstacles removed. We're funnily enough starting with killing the sectoids. Good, let's remove as much cover as possible. Natalia, get a pistol in. That's it for now. down triplet unfortunately not successful shadow realm 100% shot finally means only this guy is, is left over. Billy has lower hit points. We don't want to risk anything with him. We are putting ourselves in good spots for individual overwatches. And Natalia will scout over here. And we'll grab some weapons soon. It's good to already have the intel though. Well, 
Not sure if we can grab one of the cyber disks. They are robotic, so I assume uh, they explode on death, just like the other healing um, healing robots. Okay, we know of another enemy back here. This guy does have a weapon, so we can salvage that when we start moving and advancing further. For now, the little stun pistol is all that Natalia got. By the way, if you wouldn't just run around like a headless chicken, but instead hunker down with us and start fighting, that actually would be helpful, dear soldier. Reloads. Can't really hit anything there. But what we can do is we can open it with a laser weapon. Triplet. Single hit. Second hit. The G. Has the 100% hit chance, guaranteed damage. Tony, unfortunately, preoccupied with the smoke. Epi. Moves over here, 70%. Good enough. Good. That, however, is a shot which we could hit. Yep. Single hit. Removing more cover. Laser weapons have the distinct disadvantage that I never know whether or not we actually have hit. Plasma cells. Yeah, not happening. Let's see if we can force him into a suppression. Granted, this is really a long shot. Good. All right. We have leveled half of the city. And I promise you there will still be way more aliens. But this time we're not going to leave out a corner and then go for a wild goose chase. No, 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 no. We're going to systematically eradicate all alien life form from this uh, place.
soldier decides to move up on his own instead of just wait together with us I guess could move up here which is of course what we're going to do Let's see. Wow, that is a really, really long shot. Let's try it. That was a hit, but... Yet again, we were not successful in just getting this guy down. would love to have that thermal rifle and actually work with it. Okay, we're starting to move up. removal unfortunately sucks good the fire line begins to move Careful here with um, anyone fighting to the right. There's a very real chance that more enemies are hiding back here. Yep, we need to get closer. Till he moves up into a better position. I think that's pretty much end of the turn. Well, sector it started is small, meaningless opponents, but they have now solidly evolved into really, really fearsome combatants, specifically with their kind of ability to mind link. Second shield is gone, which means we have no more front line, no more dedicated front line that is. This guy is just rushing through the map. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he's a bad scout if that is what he's intending to do. You sort of don't just run into the enemies hoping to to just see it by yourself. You need to relay the information and you need to wait for your comrades. Good. Now, can we hit this guy? The answer is maybe. Pfft. 
Okay, I'm not even going to try uh, to do that at this distance. Yet another hit. And then finally the G gets him down. I don't know if uh, he had a regeneration option. But he got hit three times and just didn't care at all. I need the weapon over there. I think we hit once. Shattered Realm. Definitely hits the second time. Opening the side here for three lines of fire. Our snipers are preoccupied, so that's not going to happen. Neck moves up, the party snack. Tries to remove cover as much as possible. Unfortunately, with very limited success. Epi moves up, saves her shots, just in case. Snipers are moving into both directions. And I think we're okay. Famous last words, I think we're okay. Car did not explode, which is great. We are shooting a couple of retaliation shots. And maybe the soldier up there can help us. It's interesting just how many of those cyber discs are flying around. In the original XCOM, they were rare. They were ultra hard to go uh, to go through, and even in the normal XCOM, they were just the pinnacle of um, alien technology. That was way, way before we had blue screen rounds. It was um, when the best thing that you could do was heat warheads um, to. To just shred more armor of the cyber disc i suppose and actually deal more damage but here they seem to pop out more and more often something with the algorithm of how to spawn enemies is a bit off can't fully reload yet That was good. Polly just became a normal infantry.
We are continuing to move up over here. And unfortunately, none of these guys. Okay, well, apparently we exploded this guy. shot very low uh, probability to hit and even the sniper is having a very low probability to hit okay in this case Nick Nick moves up Has that intervening object there. <sighs> Uncle Noober, I don't know what to say, but you're hitting. Can't hit an open. Um, barn door if your life would depend on it yeah can't really hit him from here zero as sniper moves up for next turn and for now just as pistol end of turn oh not one of them is on the rooftop i see i see Good, our fire line worked well. Okay, okay, very good. Our Overwatch and the fire lines generally work well. We took a bit of damage. That soldier, on the other hand, is just running, still running around. Call him Bunny Mac G because he's just running from A to B. Okay, we need to heal up, cure the bleeding, and then we should be good to go. I'm still not sure um, if I like the idea of those automatic healing devices, but they are potentially just better than medkits because they would heal you up and everything's fine. Typical, by the way, but one of them would hide themselves uh, inside of an office. Okay, reload, and can we take a shot? Sniper. Decent shot. Triplet. We 
which by the way is a hit I like it oh boy we hit that Hilarion bomb didn't want to do that moving up Okay, so far that looks good. Move into here. And what else are we going to do? I think high ground isn't a bad idea. I think that's actually a very good idea. Moving all the way over here. G needs to reload and uh, Dilly will make it all the way to here takes the high ground soon Potentially just one guy left in the gas station, but then again, hmm, a soldier was running around here and hasn't been attacked at all. Yeah, I think we found our sneaky sneaky link. That soldier is still alive. I would like to recruit him. I think he makes for a good uh, reconnaissance scout. Must have a hundred time units by now. Or just running around every single turn. Moves up. Spots an enemy. Takes a shot. Uh, I don't want to be too reckless. We're hunkering down. Polly moves up, hunkers down, and that should give him a good chance. Yep. Loses his cover though. Come on. Good, we're moving up. Shattered Realm. Takes a shot. Takes a second one. It's unfortunately being mesmerized. Anders takes three shots. Gets mesmerized as well. The G. Move 
moves up. Triplet shot. Nope. Did not even get them into suppression, which I was hoping for. Nicknack moves up. So he sprints through half of the map. And Uncle Nuber, who's required to actually be uh, removing the, um, the cover, is unfortunately a bit far away. Okay, the G. It's looking into this direction, and that's about it. Even with uh, trying very hard, we could not get either of them down. I think that's the end of Bonnie Mac uh, Foo Foo. Lot of lots and lots of damage. He goes berserk, but he just does not shoot. Okay, cool. Well, that's also one way of doing it. Finally, that one is open, which then means the G take a shot and horribly miss. Let's try that. It's pretty bad. Okay, well, let's start with a couple of minor things. Number one, we don't want to be receiving any fire back. Number two, let's heal the wounded. Happy moves up. C 
sees the other guy. And gets mesmerized. Not good. Triplet. Billy moves up. Zero begins to slowly move up. It's too far away. Everybody already has acted. Yeah, Anders can really just go for cover. Natalia moves down so that we can stun them next turn. enemies incoming oh wow oh boy we're taking a lot of damage It certainly would be helpful if Natalia wouldn't just run away. But we need to heal her. Wow. Whatever it is, the game is slowing down to a grinding halt. Let's try that again. Tough mission overall. It really is. Alright, before we're going for this guy, let's just check our options. Good, we're opening up the front of the shop here. Oh, 
boost over here. That should be 100%. No. Good. Thank you. We hit him, but we did not really injure them. I don't know. They seem to be on steroids. Hey, can we somehow get this guy down? Really? No. But Illy has a hundred percent shot here and should take that. One down. And a couple more hits over there. Still a hit. Okay. This guy unfortunately is hiding. But Luckily for us, we got the upper flank or the left flank uh, cleared out. So I am confident that this guy might be the last, the last one here. Hmm. Shattered Ram has also taken damage. We it seems like everybody took a really fair amount of damage. Might need to improve uh, the healing rate instead of the other equipment. Enemy spotted. I tell you what, um, triplet. And finally, mission complete. Oh. Yeah, that was a tougher mission. Specifically cyber discs, I think four or five cyber discs and just massive steroid induced sectoids everywhere. Good, time for the after action report. We are seeing a lot of wounded uh, personnel. And that means we will see a couple of the res reserve personnel come in as we're currently recovering. We can also see definitely a slowdown in additional stats that we're getting. The newcomers, quote unquote newcomers like Zero, still get a lot of um, a lot of additional values. But if everybody is almost at a hundred, then. Of course, you're seeing much less growth. Just looking at the soldiers at the moment. We do have a couple of really crazy stats there. Good. 
this here for instance 175 198 198 that is crazy i mean all she needs is more health and then she's effectively maxed out so that's not bad not bad at all and i think overall we're fine with our roster we're maybe even having too many soldiers but given missions like the ones that we just had i think it's fair to say that a bit more recovery isn't too bad you can see these numbers here becoming greener and greener as well shattered realm is another great example 100 100 100 then 290s but i think zoe has the single most stats in a character potentially 100 100 100 98 98 and 75 i'm pretty sure that's the most that we have in a single character i am wondering whether our engineering priorities are correct um that automated module is great but it costs a lot and maybe we're just taking that away selling some other stuff and do the base upgrade nah, for surgical center yeah i don't know we're having so many things queued up at the moment it will just take some time in terms of captured aliens yeah we will continue to capture more because those uh, will sell for much higher value good and after such a horrible uh, set of events things are slowing down again which is good we need more scanning range advanced alloys cool that's a neat little picture i like it assault shield upgrade actuarial model reinforced plating more reinforced plating and more reinforced whoa, 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 whoa. that's a lot exosuit armor now we're talking okay well with armor what do we have nothing a reinforced plating 750 upgrade plating on our vehicles and alloy plates of soldiers will be upgraded but 750 grand is a lot actual model the actu uh, actuator module uses lightweight exoskeleton constructed from alien materially to significantly enhance the strengths of the soldier wearing it what does it do 25 strengths and it weighs 12. <laughs> that's cool so it's essentially trading your inventory space for way more strength and you get unlimited amount of it okay upgrades the existing combat shield doubles the health are you kidding me okay well that's a good one i'll take that over to fusion um to to gauze weapons because the shields are oftentimes just going to go uh, going down way too fast aircraft phantom reinforced plating what does it do plus 10 armor Okay, well, and the angel armor also plus 10 armor. Okay. Uh, wow. 
Listen, that's a lot to upgrade. I think we also need a nanotech workshop upgrade, I guess. And how much did, did the aircraft reinforced upgrade cost? 250. I wonder if we're taking away the fusion grenade upgrades and we're instead putting in reinforced plating. Because here's the logic. If we can't win air battles, there is no ground battle. And what's going to happen instead is we're always going to be bullied by the aliens. We're putting one of these fusion torpedoes on one of them, which means that will already reduce the armor of the big guys. And then we're going in with the cannons, fast and quick, just getting all of uh, all of uh, the armor down, and basically destroying the enemies. So we got automated module. That, I think, was the healing module. Let's double check if we have unlimited healing modules now. Yes, we do. Dispenses, healing. I think that's pretty damn clever. It's also freeing up a secondary weapon that we elsewise wouldn't have had. So a few more stun batons can come in. We still need some of the mad kits. Uh, or we're, we're giving automated modules to everyone. Alenium grenades. And now we're starting with electroshock grenades. Let's just double check the alenium grenades real quick. That also means all of our grenades are now upgraded, correct? So yeah, clearly you can see Alenium charges deal double the damage. Flashbangs still do exactly what flashbangs did beforehand, but 50 kinetic damage is not, it's not bad. Nothing to be scoffed at. The fusion grenades uh, were the ones uh, that were definitely a further upgrade. But that is still in the far, far future. For now, we just need to deal with the normal upgrades. Electroshock grenades. Yeah, we're going to put them in as well. I like electroshock grenades because these are the ones that will stun the enemies. And a stunt enemy is a good enemy. Okay, cool. We're almost uh, through our upgrades. Phantom plating is the last. Uh, thing that we're doing. We've upgraded so many, uh, so many uh, things for our operatives. That's good. Got the nice little electroshock grenade. Why do we have? Oh, ah, that is that is the upgrade. The electroshock upgrade is the actual upgrade to the flashbang. Now I got it. Deals EMP damage. And okay.
All right, all right. I got you. Well, then the electroshock grenade was not a bad investment because we are carrying a lot of electroshock grenades. Nice. 35 armor, gas immunity, and plus 12 time units. <laughs> and this is only considered to be medium armor? Okay. I like it. I like every little bit of it. Well, our researchers are creating money out of thin air. I like that. So, equipment, armor, exosuit, 100 grand. Yeah, that's fair. They look like 100 grand items to me. But yeah, for next for next month, we actually need to do a couple of other uh, things first. Surgical center is already 500 grand down the drain. We need more reinforced plating. Got you. Uh, we may be, we may require another. Yeah. Now. Nah. I correct myself, we don't need that. We then need reinforced, general reinforced plating. Don't even know if that's the same. No, it's not. Reinforced plating will be good. Fusion grenades uh, will be ultra helpful. I want that module. I want the advanced med kit, so I want all of uh, the good stuff on the ground after we have successfully mastered air combat. But air combat comes first. You can see we're uh, we're repairing these, 22%. Uh, percent. So yeah, we're still very much recovering from losing them completely. Let's fast forward a bit more. What are we dealing with? Size medium, escort size very small. You can already see that I don't like that. Um, Quadrant 2, select new target, get the UFO. Thank you. Another abductor. Hmm. Gotta hate these abductors. And we're low on hit points. Good. Phantom 4 is the one that needs to take the aggro. And Phantom 3 and 1 are coming in from the side. Okay, we're fast. And four, easy. Moves out of uh, the massive damage zone. Good, we got the abductor down. Unfortunately, we also took some damage. But yeah, that crash site is going to be our next big thing. Okay, 
Yeah, we first of all need to re-weapon. Nice. And then I suppose we're going to go for that as well. I do have an idea. Since we're low on hit points, before we're losing everything, let's just get those missiles straight. Good. Everybody just carries missiles and essentially we're going in, shooting and going out. Well, that's the plan. But before we can do this plan, let's create our launch team. I'll do that off camera and we're going to join with the abduction mission oh with the crash site mission next time thanks for watching guys as always and if you enjoy xenonauts 2 leave a comment and a like down below and see you soon bye bye